Falcon Heavy has already launched four times this year, making it the busiest year yet. Even so, the business has one more planned for a few days, which will bring the total to five. The US Air Force's X-37B spaceplane will be carried on this mission, which is a bit different from the usual cargo. This mission is pretty important because of the payload and launch vehicle. It is set to happen on December 11th. A military space plane called the X-37B can do many things in orbit and can stay there for years before coming back to land on a runway. I'll talk more about this upcoming mission, including why the Falcon Heavy is being used, final mission preparation, and more. There was a mission called USFF-52 that the Falcon Heavy was supposed to fly with the US Air Force in late 2018. This was known to us for a while. As usual with military contracts, that was pretty much all the information we had. We didn't know anything about the payload, orbit, or anything else. That was until a few months ago, when they said the X-37B would be on board. The X-37B has been launched many times before, but never on a rocket as powerful as the Falcon Heavy. This was big news. It would either use a Falcon 9 or an Atlas V instead. Even though it wasn't said, this makes it sound like the space plane will be going to a farther orbit and needs the Falcon Heavy's power. There are a few statements that give you an idea of what to expect, but most of this mission is kept secret. In an announcement early last month, the Space Force said that mission USSF-52 would be carrying out a lot of different tests. These would include using the reusable space plane in different orbital regimes, testing technologies for space domain awareness, and looking into how radiation affects NASA-provided materials. Besides the space plane, the mission will also include NASA's SEDS-2 experiment, which will look into how radiation from space affects plant seeds during a long space flight. Going back to the space plane, it has a lot of abilities and can do many things that are still unknown, such as launch satellites and hold experiments. When asked how long it would stay in space, the longest mission it had was 908 days, which is about two and a half years. At this point, the mission is still set to happen in a few days, on the 11th. This was supposed to happen days ago, but it got pushed back. LC-39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida is where the rocket will take off. Additionally, it looks like the center booster will be used up, adding extra power during the launch. The two side boosters, on the other hand, will break apart and land on the ground close to where they were launched. The Falcon Heavy can easily carry the X-37B because it only weighs about 11,000 pounds, 5,100 kilograms. This is true no matter what orbit it is in. At the beginning of 2018, this mission was given to SpaceX. It was in June 2018 that the Air Force said in a statement, the Air Force has announced the award of an Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle, or EELV, launch service contract. SpaceX has been given a $130 million firm fixed price contract to launch an Air Force Space Command, AFSPC, 52 satellite, into the right orbit. The contract gives the government a complete launch solution for this mission. It includes making launch vehicles, integrating the mission, and running launches. At the time, they also said that AFSPC-52 is a secret mission that will likely take off in late fiscal year 2020. A lot of the government payloads that Falcon Heavy launches are for the military, which shows how popular it has become. For example, the Falcon Heavy launched USSF-67 earlier this year for about $317 million. It also launched the USFF-STP-2 and the USFF-44 which is a popular choice because it can carry a lot of stuff and is easy to get. We will likely see a lot more of these in the future. Taking a look at the heavy lift launch vehicle schedule, launches should keep it busy until at least 2024, which is a big improvement from the beginning when it was a bit slow. 
SpaceX has been working on increasing the number of times each of its vehicles can launch. This is especially clear with the Falcon 9, since they try to launch one every two days. Even though it doesn't happen as often, the Falcon Heavy is also making this happen by launching more than ever before. For some background, the first Falcon Heavy mission took place in 2018. Falcon Heavy took off four times between 2018 and the end of 2022. That is, it launched less than once a year on average. Then 2023 began. It has already taken off four times this year, and its fifth mission is due to leave in just a few days. In reality, it took a while for the Falcon Heavy to start launching more often for a number of reasons. Part of the main reason for this was how well the Falcon 9 did. SpaceX worked to improve and boost the launch vehicle's performance after making the Falcon 9. But when the company was making Falcon Heavy, they weren't sure what the Falcon 9 would be able to do. Because SpaceX did so well, the Falcon 9 became a lot stronger than anyone thought it would be. Because it is so strong, many missions that were supposed to be done by the Falcon Heavy were switched to the Falcon 9. For this reason, other business organizations that needed a ride to low Earth orbit, for example, did not need the Falcon Heavy's huge payload capacity. They chose to take a cheaper flight on the Falcon 9 instead. Missions on the Falcon 9 cost about $67 million to buy from SpaceX. A normal heavy flight, on the other hand, costs about $97 million. One more reason was that there wasn't much demand. When it comes to heavy payloads going into orbits far away, Falcon Heavy really shines. The specific mission profile makes the choices much smaller and mostly limits them to military launches. From 2019 to 2022, there wasn't much need for such a strong rocket. Several planned Falcon Heavy launches had to be pushed back because our satellites were having trouble. For example, USF-44 was first planned to take off in late 2020. That plan failed because of the payload issue. There were also a few competitors with similar features. For example, Ariane Space's Ariane 5 and United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy both launched around the same time. Lastly, SpaceX was stepping up work on Starship around the same time that Falcon Heavy was being built but not being launched. The business had a lot of ideas, but they didn't know what each one could do or when it would be ready. There may have been other reasons for the lack of launches besides the fact that the schedule was so full and there were so many options. But these different things have changed a lot in just the last year. With the GoEZU launch, the pattern of frequent Falcon Heavy launches is likely to continue at the start of next year. NASA hired SpaceX to provide launch services for the geostationary GoEZU weather satellite in September 2021. The Europa Clipper mission will happen in the third quarter. Europa Clipper will do a full survey of Europa and use a wide range of high-tech scientific tools to find out if the icy moon has conditions that are good for life. The main goals of the mission are to take high-resolution pictures of Europa's surface, find out what it is made of, look for signs of recent or ongoing geological activity, measure how thick the moon's icy shell is, look for lakes below the surface, and find out how deep and salty Europa's ocean is. Before getting to Jupiter in April 2030, the mission will fly by Mars and Earth. After that, there is the VIPER mission in November and the launch of the NASA Artemis Gateway in December. This mission might have to be put off because of progress on modules, but it's still not that far away. As part of the Artemis program, which was given out in February 2021, the first parts for the Gateway Station would be sent up on this launch. As part of the deal to launch the PPE, Maxa had already paid SpaceX $27.5 million, but NASA changed its mind and decided to launch both the PPE and HALO at the same time. SpaceX is almost ready to launch the Falcon Heavy with the X-37B spaceplane on top of it. That makes this the fifth launch of 2023 and the busiest year for the car so far. 
we need to wait and see how things go and what effect it has on the space business. This is cosmic error as usual. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, liking, and subscribing to our channel in order to see more videos similar to this one. Until the next time,